tuned into OBM TV and it's with pleasure I congratulate all women for International Women's Day. We are a divine feminine source and carry the elements of wisdom, nurture and creation. God created each of us with unique gifts and purpose. And today we have with us Chris Swanson, pastor and vice president of Hispanic Initiative for Samaritan Purse and Billy Graham Association. Thank you for joining us, Chris. How are you today? I'm doing well. Well, great to be with you. What an honor. Uh, God's up to some pretty amazing things. So it's fun to be with you for a few minutes. Yes. So you are leading and managing the women's campaign for Samaritan's Purse. Walk us through what the objective and the mission looks like uh, for this project and what it looks like on a day to day basis. Yeah. So for Samaritan's Purse, uh, for us, it's incredibly important to be supporting the needs all around the world. In this case, that women all around the world are experiencing whether that's just supporting them in different cultures, different scenarios, or whether it's situations where there's uh, situations of war or abuse, or, you know, again, need for education to help their children, poverty, etc. So that's really our project uh, globally. And there's a few countries that we're most focused on, but just acknowledging uh, the way God has designed uh, women to have an incredible influence on society, on their families, uh, with children, I mean, just on all facets. And so we want to be a part of that and we want to bring relief. We want to bring most of all the hope of Jesus uh, through being hands and feet for Jesus. So, yes. So you, you, you guys are creating awareness and bringing education to women in underdeveloped um, countries or underdeveloped communities. What are their top um, communities right now that is the main focus for Samaritan Purse? Yeah, so um, Colombia is a country that we're in, Cambodia, as well as Iraq. I think Iraq is one of the great stories that has been happening uh, really since uh, 2015. Um, but in all three of those countries in particular, uh, there's some really significant uh, projects happening. That's wonderful. What does a day in your role look like? Well, for me, uh, it, it, in my role, it's a lot of administrative items. Um, so I try to get in the field as often as I can. Of course, we are working with teams. And so it's about uh, empowering teams, whether it's in these countries I mentioned or other countries with different projects, we're empowering the teams, training them to be able to do the work. And so we want to make sure that our uh, uh, those who are from the country we're in, the local population, that they have a chance to uh, be prepared. And so we've got teams preparing teams. And then the other part of it is um, work for me is working with local churches. And so talking with leaders, leaders of denominations, of uh, networks of churches, because we really always, as an organization, Samaritan's Purse, seek to work through the local church and um, so administrative, I'm very relational as a person. So as much as I can be with people and whether it's a Zoom meeting or getting in the field and being able to be hands on, a um, lot of travel. So yes. So yes, you have a leadership role. Um, I think that speaks volume. Everybody that I've met so far from Samaritan Purse that is in leadership is exceptional. Every time I've done an interview, um, who is like, for example, a woman that I admire and that I look up to as a role model is Maya Angelou, uh, Barbara Walters. Who is a woman that you admire or has inspired you throughout your life? Yeah, I, my, the first woman that comes to my mind with that question is my grandma. Uh, my grandma has since passed away, but she passed away in her mid 90s. And here's why I would put her on my number one on the list. Grandma was a humble uh, wife of a pastor in northern Minnesota and here in the United States. And uh, um, so small churches, people wouldn't even probably notice her name was Elna. But what grandma did for me was give me the greatest gift. And so when she passed, it was such a loss. And that was she was a daily prayer warrior um, every single day she would sit when my grandpa was alive the two of them would sit and they would go through their over 35 grandchildren and of course children um, and pray for each one individually and i've been in ministry all my life and uh prayer is 
essential. Yes. Uh, I've raised I've raised funds to help support things, but it's the prayer that I need even more than the funds. Though yes. God provides those, and so Grandma was a warrior on her knees, and uh, I, she is my number one on that list. Wonderful, that is exceptional. And as a pastor, um, with the vision and anointing of a leader, what passage or words? would you share right now with women all over the world that are going to watch this interview? You know, um, there are so many scripture passages that are incredibly encouraging. Uh, the one that comes to my mind that has been often on my mind and heart recently is Psalm 34, seven. Psalm 34, seven is a verse that says that the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him. And it's referring when, when in Old Testament, when it says angel of the Lord, it's referring to Jesus when the angel of the Lord encamps around you and as, as a woman, wherever you are in the world and whatever you're facing, uh, you put your trust in Jesus Christ and your fear in an almighty God. And one of hundreds of promises that the Bible gives you is that he encamps around you, not just in front of you, not just behind you, but all around you. And I'm telling you, I'm sure that just, just as for me and, and, and for you, uh, those of you watching have days or maybe weeks or months where you go, I feel alone. And you need to be reminded that the angel of the Lord encamps around you as you fear him. That was a perfect passage. Thank you so much, Chris. You're welcome. You are welcome. And on behalf of OVM TV and OVM Global Network, we wish you, the women of your family and in your life, a happy International Women's Day. Amen. God bless you all. God bless you too. Thank you, Chris.